So QLab is an amazing piece of software that you can do a lot of stuff with. And the best bit is you can pretty much MIDI control any element of it. So I'm gonna be using the Elisa Sample Pad 4 to MIDI control QLab in its basic form, so that's starting and stopping a track. Now you don't have to use the Elisa sample pad specifically, it can literally be anything that outputs MIDI into a computer, which is great. If you're one of the patrons watching this, then you can grab this project and this file from the Patreon page, which I'll put up at the same time as this video. So if you're using something like this, your MIDI controller, all you need to do is output the MIDI from it. So in this case, for me, it's USB, which is a B cable, like a printer cable, into a laptop that is running QLab. And that's, pr that's pretty much it for the uh, for the Elisis anyway. And now it's, now it's done, you just turn it on and job done. In QLab itself, I've got a blank template here with just, just a track in it. It's just a real cool 80s track, which I love. And all I want to do is hit one pad, it go and hit one pad and the whole thing stop. Which if you know QLab is the big go button and the panic all button, which is great. So all we need to do is go to the right hand side at the bottom where the little cog is. We don't need to install anything or do anything like that. And then we want to actually head into controls and workspace MIDI. The MIDI section at the bottom is actually the output. So if you wanted to send MIDI from QLab into a device, that's where you'd add it. For this video, we're not doing that because we're inputting into QLab. So we just want to go to controls, workspace MIDI. Now for this demo, I'm gonna use pretty much every MIDI channel, but if you're running multiple MIDI instruments, then you'd want to configure which channel that's on. So for example, if I had the Elisa sample pad and another one from a MIDI keyboard, I'd put the Elisis on channel one and the keyboard on channel two, for example. For now, it's just gonna stay on any. Use MIDI show control. I'm gonna keep that on for now. Not too much of a big deal right now, but it's nice to keep it on. And then the important one that you may not already have ticked is the use musical MIDI voice messages. And this is where we're actually then going to input the MIDI from your sample pad. I want to use the go button. And if I scroll down a little bit, the panic all. And I'm not gonna mess with any of the message type or anything like that because I'm just gonna grab my pad. I'm gonna make it so this is go and this is stop basically and panic all. So I'm just gonna go capture and hit it. There we go. And then I'm gonna go down to panic all capture, hit it. Now one thing here, I didn't hit it hard enough, so it's showing it as 115. This is essentially the range in which it'll detect it. So if you actually hit it harder than that, it won't trigger. So I'm just gonna change that to 127, which is the maximum amount of velocity that you can output, input, output from this, input, the maximum velocity on MIDI. Then I'm just gonna hit done, and that's literally it. So to make sure this goes, make sure you select the top track on your project. In this case, I've only got one track, so I'm just gonna select that. But if you had a whole show in here, make sure you select either the top one, if you're starting the show, or wherever that starts from, select that. And then, Like I said, it doesn't have to be a drum pad. That's just specifically that one because I had it laying around, but you can use anything that outputs MIDI. It's exactly the same process. Just make sure that if you need to download any MIDI drivers, that you look up that product name, MIDI drivers. Like if you're running the Roland SPDSX, then you'll need to Google SPDSX drivers and download the MIDI driver. If you have any further questions, you can book a one-on-one -on -one tutorial with me. Just head to the link in the bio. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please love them in the comment section down below. I'm Harry, this is Drum Electric, and I hope you have a fantastic day.